Knights of the Round, another game developed and published by Capcom and released in the arcade. And it's a game I never played until a handful of years ago because I downloaded a shitload of ROMs for MAME and was trying some of them out because they sounded cool. Knights of the Round was released in 1991 and did have a console port on the Super Nintendo, and that was released in 1994. Now as you can see, Knights of the Round is a side-scrolling beat-em-up, but there's also some RPG elements in this game. It's pretty damn cool that there's a leveling up system in this game. The story behind Knights of the Round goes like this. Arthur has been training himself to be the best knight, like no one ever was. <laughs> Not going there. Merlin sends Arthur, Lancelot, and Percival to overthrow the evil king Garibaldi and to unite Britain. So this game is based loosely on the legend of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. So you will go through seven stages, bashing the shit out of and hacking and slashing your way through bosses, picking up treasure for points, food to replenish health, and some power-ups that will help you out and do shit like wipe enemies out on screen and so on. You can get on horses and attack enemies, plus the horse can stomp on enemies, and that's badass, and you can choose between Arthur, Lancelot, and Percival as characters. So it's not just being Arthur. Knights of the Round is pretty simple to understand when it comes to gameplay, and that's always nice. You don't have to be a brainiac to play this damn game. Arthur has his own weapon, which is the sword Excalibur, Lancelot has a saber, and Percival uses an axe. While leveling up, your character will get armor added, and that's pretty cool. And each character does have a special attack when you hit jump and attack at the same time. Of course, this does take a little bit of your health off, so use it wisely. When it comes to the graphics, Knights of the Round looks badass, ranging from the level design, the enemies, characters, bosses. Some of the bosses are quite large in size, too. The game runs smooth for its time, even playing this on main. It looks really good. Never seen any glitching and very little flickering, if any at all. The game is very colorful and fits each level setting. The music? Shit, what can I say about it? Capcom in the 90s and its beat-em-ups had some of the best music. It's well composed and sounds damn good. It doesn't matter if it's the title screen music and each level has damn good music and so on. The sound effects from the fighting noises are good. The noises of the weapons, explosions, and so on are great. Even the noises your characters and enemies make when they get hit and die and all that shit is very well done. The controls, what can I say? The game is not difficult to understand when it comes to them. Moving around is easy. Attacking is well done. Same with jumping. They are very responsive. Even playing this using a PlayStation 3 controller like I play a lot of platformers on my PC, it handles almost perfect as you can get for a beat-em-up. No complaints at all. Knights of the Round is a lot of fun to me. It fits right in there with other classic beat-em-up for the time, especially by Capcom. The gameplay is a blast. It's action-packed. The graphics are very well done. The music and sound effects are amazing. And the controls are fucking great. Sure, this game can be a little difficult, but hell, a game like this shouldn't be a walk in the park. Also, I wish there was a few more levels, as some are quite fast to get through, but for the most part, this game is a classic, pure and simple. If you haven't played Knights of the Round, definitely give it a try. And obviously, you can use MAME, but if not, you can get the Super Nintendo port. While it's probably not as good as the arcade version because of console limitations, I hear it's still pretty decent. Prices on eBay for the Super Nintendo port vary between $19.99, $60, $99, and most of them are around the $60 to $70 range. The game was released on the Capcom Classics Collection Reloaded on the PlayStation Portable and on the Capcom Classics Collection Volume 2 on the PlayStation 2 and original Xbox. Although if you have a modern console and PC, you're not left out. You could pick up the Capcom Beat-Em-Up Bundle, which was released in 2018, and that can be found on the Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. Sadly, this is a one-and-done game at least for Capcom, when it comes to the whole King Arthur story. But there are many games out there that feature this theme on a variety of consoles, computers, and later on mobile devices. I hope you enjoyed this review of Knights of the Round for Arcade. Thanks for watching.